the country representative Jetro Bangladesh, Mr. Masayuki Osuka, co-chairman, Japan Information Technology Service Industry Association, JISA, Mr. Imamura Takeshi, general manager, Fujitsu Research Institute, Mr. Soed Almas Kobir, President Basis, Ms. Farhana Erahoman, Senior Vice President, Mr. Rashad Kobir, Director Basis. We are happy that 82 participants from Japanese IT companies have registered to this program and 48 Bangladeshi IT companies are listed on the B2B platform created by BASIS. Although we initially planned to hold B2B today to 28th January, considering the number of participations, we have decided to extend the B2B till 5th February to provide more opportunity and flexibility to the participating companies. BASIS and Fujitsu Research Institute will notify this to the registered Japanese companies. え、今回のB2Bですが、日系企業82社のご参加、またバングラデシュ企業48社のご参加により行われます。え、こちらのB2Bですが、都合により2月5日に延期させていただきます。登録された皆様にはご連絡差し上げます。at the beginning, I would like to request Mr. Shahabuddin Ahmed, His Excellency Ambassador of Bangladesh to Japan, for delivering his welcome speech. Honorable, am I audible? Yes, sir, we can hear you. Honorable Chief Guest and State Minister for ICT Division, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh, Mr. Junaid Ahmad Polok MP, His Excellency Ambassador of Japan to Bangladesh, Mr. Ito Naoki, Mr. N.M. Jiaul Alam, Senior Secretary, ICT Division, Dr. M.D. Jafuruddin, Secretary, Ministry of Commerce, Bangladesh, Mr. Hayakawa Yahu, Country Representative, Jaika, Bangladesh, Mr. Yuji Endo, Country Representative Jetro Bangladesh, Mr. Masauki Osuku, Co-Chairman Jisa, Mr. Syed Almas Kobir, President Basis, Mr. Imamura Takeshi, General Manager Fujitsu Research Institute, speakers from Basis and distinguished guests and registered participants from Japanese companies and Basis members companies. Good morning and Assalamu Alaikum. Very good afternoon and konnichiwa from Tokyo, Japan. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to the inauguration ceremony of Japan Bangladesh IT B2B online meeting 2021. I especially express my heartfelt thanks and gratitude to the Honorable State Minister and other distinguished guests for gracing this program. I also thank both Japanese and Bangladesh IT companies for joining us to explore business opportunities in IT. Japan is Bangladesh, one of the trusted and time-tested friends since our independence and it is single largest development partner. Japan's name comes first whenever we talk about Bangladesh development. Japan is Bangladesh's number one export destination in Asia and fifth source of country of import. Bilateral trade is around 3 billion US dollar. We are very encouraged to see the increasing interest of and enthusiasm of Japanese entrepreneurs about business and investment opportunities in Bangladesh. Currently over 315 Japanese firms are operating in Bangladesh, an increase of more than 10 times over the last decade. Different surveys conducted by Japanese institutions like JETRO, JBIC, reveal that confidence of Japanese affiliated firms in doing business in Bangladesh is increasing. Despite COVID-19, the Embassy of Bangladesh has been working to facilitate bilateral trade between Japan and Bangladesh. We are ready to provide all sorts of possible, possible supports to the Japanese businessmen and investors in doing business with Bangladesh. During last couple of months, we have organized a number of virtual and physical programs to promote businesses and investment. We organized Japan Bangladesh ICT webinar 
in the month of August 2020 with the participation of more than 100 Japanese IT companies. Today's program is a follow-up B2B matchmaking program. The ICT sector is one of the fastest growing industry in Bangladesh and Japanese IT companies can explore business opportunity. I honestly request the Japanese IT companies to participate in B2B to make take the opportunity of doing business with Bangladesh IT companies and investing in Bangladesh C high tech parks. Here I would like to mention we have also organized a physical seminar on investment, trade and skilled human resources at Yokohama City on 22nd December 2020. Highly skilled professionals in the IT engineering and medical sectors are also making their marks in Japan. In 2017, an agreement was signed between JICA, the Miyazaki Prefecture and private sector for training and recruitment of IT professionals from Bangladesh. This PPP venture known popularly as the Miyazaki model has already recruited more than 100 IT professionals to work with different IT companies in Miyazaki. This is a promising start to strengthening cooperation in the IT sector with Japan. Finally, I express my gratitude to the co-organizers, BASIS and Fujitsu Research Institute and supporting organizations, ICT Division, Bangladesh, JETRO, UNIDO, ITPO, Tokyo to make this program happen. The presence of Japanese companies today is very reassuring to us. I request Japanese companies to utilize this business to business platform created by BASIS and explore businesses opportunity in Bangladesh. Finally, I thank you all for your kind attention. Thank you. Domo arigato gozaimashita. Thank, thank you, sir, for your excellent speech highlighting the embassy's initiatives to enhance bilateral trade relationships. ございました。え、ただいまのご挨拶ですが、主品である え、日本のビジネスマンや投資家の皆様をサポートさせていただく取り組みを行っていることについても言及がございました。え、その、え、主と致しましては、え、セミナーを、え、バーチャル、え、実際を問わず行っております。また、え、昨年8月にウェビナ
you know that um, uh, in the last year, 28 June, when we inaugurated Basis Japan Days, we tried our best to uh, uh, conduct various meetings and various programs to extend the ICT relationship between Bangladesh and Japan. In the last few years, we have conducted several B2B meetings, but you know that due to the pandemic situation, in this year, with the help of Embassy of uh, Bangladesh in Japan and Fudishu Research Institute, we have um, arranged this um, B2B session virtually. And the interesting factor is that we have got um, enormous response from both the Bangladesh and the Japanese side. 48 companies from uh, BASIS have been listed so far for the B2B meetings, and 82 companies from Japan uh, have registered for the B2B session. So now I am going to give a very short presentation about the Bangladeshi IT companies who are going to participate in the B2B session. So I am sharing my screen. Can you see my screen? Is my screen is visible? Yeah, visible. Okay. Yes, it's visible. So uh, our first company is BGIT Limited, um, uh, one of the leading IT companies of Bangladesh who are working both in the Bangladesh and Japan market. They have more than uh, 20 years of experience. They have specialization in big data, fintech and blockchain, machine learning, embedded system, um, uh, IoT and the mobile application. They have more than 600 engineers right now in uh, Bangladesh and they are working in the market, not only in Japan, but also in Finland, Sweden, France, Singapore and USA also. Systic Digital Limited, um, one of the oldest and leading companies of Bangladesh, they have 19 years of experience. Their main experience is system integration, cloud application development, mobile application development, web storage e-commerce solution, web, web portal development and others. They have 75 plus employees right now and uh, HR and payroll system, membership management system, eye track biometric system is their main product. We have Prices ID. Their main business domain is customer software development, enterprise resource planning, mobile application, web application, artificial intelligence, machine learning, big data analysis, and they have 120 plus employees right now in their company. We have Leeds of Bangladesh Limited, one of the CMM five level company of Bangladesh. They have their products like blockchain development, code banking solution, capital market, customized embedded system, and the others. And uh, they have more than uh, 270 plus employees right now. Technogram Limited, they have the business domain in a web application, mobile application, AI, AR, VR, software testing, and they have 25 employees right now. Brain Station 23 Limited, one of the leading software companies here in Bangladesh. They have their operation um, in several countries right now in Europe, uh, Asia, US, and other countries. They, are, um, uh, they have total. 350 plus skill developer right now in their company. And uh, they are established in 2006. They have uh, they um, uh, they have specialization in the blockchain, custom software development, mobile application development, SharePoint, enterprise CMS, and the others. Star Computer Systems Limited, one of the CMMH level company of Bangladesh. They have 100 plus employees right now. And they are the business domain in managed IT services, AR and, AR and VR, hybrid cloud, and enterprise infrastructure. They have clients like A2I, UNDP, ICT Division, World Bank, and others. We have JD Solution Limited. They are working mainly in the European countries and, are, um, and, offshore develop and they are doing the offshore development services. They have the business domain in customized software development, smart health services, messaging services, mobile applications, data analytics, and machine learning, and others. We have SSC Tech Limited, one of the promising startups from Bangladesh. They have 17 employees right now. They have their business domain in a web application, mobile application, e-commerce and website development, non by BPO service. Gym 71 Bangladesh Limited, established in 2012. They have 74 plus employees right now. And their uh, business domain is customized software development, mobile application, web application, and others. We have Dynamic Solution Innovator. They have uh, 120 people right now, and their main business vertical is government, banking, education, law, health, and security forces. They have their clients like Bangladesh Government, UNICEF, Bcash, and others. 
we have then amazing soft limited their main services is ready made software products customized software development mobile application development web application graphic design and others they have 24 plus employees right now multi brand infotech limited uh, their main business is copy software development mobile application website development they have their clients like square group edison group and other leading private companies of bangladesh they have 37 plus employees right now nitto digital service and analytics limited they have their expertise in technology like java python ios aws rpa iot and others they have their clients like gramin phone groby ay i lab and many other leading companies of bangladesh we have then adidas bangladesh limited uh, they are working uh, in usa market mostly they have 35 plus employee right now and the interesting factor is 70% is female they have their business domain in real estate project management software virtual reality in construction customized software development in java platform big and real estate and others we have then rise up labs bangladesh limited uh, one of the leading gaming companies here in bangladesh they have 40 plus hr right now and their main business domain is multimedia e learning platform game development mobile application development augmented reality virtual reality artificial intelligence virtual reality simulator and others they have the clients like unicef usaid uh, uh, government of people republic of bangladesh ict division robi and others we have ira infotech limited one of the leading companies who are doing really good in banking sector of bangladesh they have their products like banking and nbi microfinance solution mobile application development ai iot robotic process automation and others we have star it limited uh, uh, they have 60 plus employees right now and uh, they have the good expertise in software development erp software mobile application iot big data analysis and other things we have then metajot asia limited uh, 29 employees right now uh, in their company there is a company of almost 19 years they have the experience in customized software development mobile application web application and data visualization we have binary solution limited they have uh, 35 plus employees right now and they have so far developed deployed 120 plus projects in 17 in seven countries and 73 clients they have the business domain in web application development smartphone apps in ios android and windows iot based application data analytics erp and uh, uh, and e-commerce we have cloud coda limited they have 50 plus employees right now and they are also working in the japan markets right now they have their products like circuit simulator cloud smsc cloud billing cloud soft switch and other other products we have then bitless bangladesh limited um they have uh, they are established in 2017 and their uh, main expertise area is application penetration testing api endpoint penetration testing network penetration testing and other security services we we have our next company data head private limited their main business domain is software development and maintenance system integration data centers server setup and management they are working with number of leading private companies here in bangladesh we have rtc hub limited in the next they uh, they have 10 plus employees right now and their main domain is business domain is customized software development artificial intelligence and augmented reality mobile application web application and mobile games we have then bangladesh it institute they have number of staff of 250 and uh, their main products is erp for the sme school management software e commerce site mobile application crm and call center solution digital content animation and video editing we have link vision software solution limited their main business domain is customized software development ai mobile application web application e commerce iot to the and 3d animation we have dreamers lab limited uh, they are working in the domain of virtual reality augmented reality mobile application development vr game development ai and machine learning they have 20 plus employees right now we have then tycon system limited uh, they are working with some cutting edge technology like artificial intelligence cloud computing streaming solution video conference web and mobile application ui web design they have 35 plus employees right now we have then brack it service limited they have 200 and 215 employees right now 
and their turnover in the year of 2018 was 24.3 million. They are uh, working, uh, they have the expertise in Java development, .NET development, PHP development, mobile application development, and other things. We have software shop limited with the employee range of close to 300, and their main domain is payment gateway solution, enterprise gate software development, web application development, IoT services, and other bus services. We have then Graho Limited. Um, they are working with some emerging technology like AI, IoT, business intelligence, and fintech. Also, they are working with some traditional technology like e-commerce and web portals, mobile application, and others. They have their clients like Delhi MC in USA, and um, and they are they have 20 employees right now. We have then Media Soft Limited. They are doing really good in the retail and distribution of in Bangladesh market. Um, uh, uh, they have 65 plus employees right now. Uh, we have then uh, uh, E-Generation Limited with uh, 150 resources. They are working with the blockchain technology. They are also in the uh, uh, also doing project in Japan that is computer vision type and AI project. And they are also doing uh, IoT based smart parking management system in Japan. We have then ProAmps Limited. They have um, uh, their main working area is HR services, payroll services, web application development, mobile application development, and other and other areas. We have Innovate Technologies Limited. They are working uh, uh, really good in the cutting edge technology. Their main business domain is biometric solution, business and enterprise solution, industry 4.0 solution, embedded system design, electronic manufacturing, industrial IoT applications. Their main clients is ICD division, Kuwait, Prague, MJ Group, and others. They have 40 plus employees right now. We have then Soft Twin Tech Limited. They their main business domain is AI machine learning based enterprise solution. Also, they are working in augmented reality, virtual reality. They have 50 plus employees right now. We have then Technology and Business Solution Limited. They have 20 plus employees right now. And they are working with the uh, many government departments of Bangladesh and also with the private techno private companies. They are working in the uh, traditional technology like web application, mobile, mobile application, web portal, web services, and other technologies. We have our next company, Freedom Sub Limited. Their business domain is data processing, data conversion, virtual assistant, web application, customized software development, ITS, and other things. They have 20 plus employees right now. Our next company is Bangladesh Solution Limited. They are also working in the Japan market right now. And their business domain is web-based solution, mobile application development, IoT-based service, artificial intelligence, business, business intelligence, and other technology. We have then Prime Tech Solution Limited. They are working in multiple countries, including UK, Canada, US, and other countries. They have 50 plus employees right now. They are working with many uh, local companies here in Bangladesh and also working with Bangladesh government. They have their products like online travel ticket booking booking engine, online travel ERP, ERP solution, GIS based data, data analytics MI tool, and other software as well. Our next company is Technohiben Company Limited, one of the uh, oldest and leading companies of Bangladesh. They have 50 plus employees right now and they have their product like PET. Bad accounting management system, utility billing system, and other products. They have their services like software testing, enterprise software application, IT project management consulting. And they have their clients like World Bank, ADB, USAID, ILO, and other leading companies. We have then GenX Infosys Limited, leading uh, uh, BPO companies of Bangladesh with more than 4,000 strong team. Uh, they have their major clients like Uber, Samsung, Ruby Asiata, Grameen Phone, Telenor Myanmar, DZ Malaysia, Bangladesh Digital. Their main business domain is back office and shared service management, customer experience management and tech support. Um, they are also working with emerging technologies like AI, chatbot, robotic process automation, cloud, cloud system integration, and, other, and with other technologies. We have the ePark IT Limited. Their main business domain is photo editing for e-commerce photo editing for photographers, digital marketing, website, and website design and development. They have 60 plus employee right now in their company. We have then Technist 
limited their main business domain is website design product development web application development uh, they have their one of the salient product is mailbuster and they are working with uh, mainly the, mainly with the education institutions of bangladesh we have then our next company data soft manufacturing and assembly incorporation limited uh, uh, their main their business domain is iot product development software development computer and other digital product manufacturing assembly artificial intelligence machine learning and blockchain pcb design and uh, development and uh, uh, they have right now 30 plus employees in their company we have logical trangate limited they are uh, 30 plus employees right now in their company and their key products is corporate erp ngo erp pharmaceutical erp they are working uh, mainly with the bangladesh government and also with the private companies here in bangladesh we have then kaikom solution limited with their offices both in bangladesh and japan in bangladesh they have 31 employees in japan and four employees they have their clients like jaika jetro and also with bangladesh government so thank you that was uh, that was the presentation of the bangladeshi companies so all of the informations are available in our website that is uh, japandex.basis.org so the interested companies interested japanese companies can go to our go to that website and if you think that if any of this company matches your criteria or um, or you want to handshake with them you just uh, 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 type that you can say that the, the uh, b2b matchmaking setting option and you can set up the uh, meeting time with the potential bangladeshi companies from there so the system is very easy to use um, right now i want to um i'm going to hand over the floor to our system analyst system uh, mr masood to show the live system that say how to set up the b2b matchmaking uh, b2b matchmaking platform so masood over to you thank you sir uh, for giving me the floor uh, assalamu alaikum this is masood roman from Bas uh, system engineer of basis uh, so basis has already developed a b2b web portal to connect uh, japanese and bangladesh companies in a single platform so i am going to show how this b2b portal is works uh, so here is our japandes website uh, where japanese companies can find bangladeshi all of bangladeshi companies profile and their other information so first i am going to log in with a uh, simple japanese account uh, to making a uh, b2b schedule so after uh, after login Uh, here you can see two uh, options. First uh, is com Bangladeshi company list or meeting set, uh, meeting setup, and second is B two B matchmaking schedule. So in the Bangladeshi uh, company list section, Japanese companies can view all of the B two B listed company profile. Uh, so if the Japanese company want to create a meeting uh, schedule with any specific Bangladeshi company, uh, they just uh, click a meeting setup uh, and then select any date and time. Uh, to create a schedule uh, so suppose i am uh, selected date and time then submit uh, so after submit a schedule uh, are created so already uh, there are two schedule created in this uh, meeting table so after creating it after creating this table uh, bangladeshi companies will be automatically uh, noti uh, notified by an auto generated email uh, after after the notification bangladeshi company will provide the meeting links which will be updated uh, in this schedule table similarly Bangla a japanese company can create multiple meeting schedule with different bangladeshi companies and all of uh, meeting schedule will be available in the b2b matchmaking schedule uh, here the japanese company will find all of created uh, schedule which he uh, was created previously so Uh, after creating all of schedule bangladeshi and japani company will participate as their schedule time so that's the short overview of the b2b portal uh, thanks again i am over to dr uh, ariful hasan uh, thank you mr rashad kobir and mr masood for introducing bangladeshi company and as well as the system how to match do the matchmaking definitely it will help Uh, Japanese companies to know their needs, and also they will uh, be able to select Bangladeshi companies, select Bangladeshi companies till fifth February. 
えー、ただいまのバングラデシュ企業のご紹介、並びシステムのご説明につき、えー、ラシュード・コビル様、またマスード様、ありがとうございました。それではこれからバングラデシュのビデオを上映いたします。バングラデシュの発展をご覧くださいませ The unbounded joy of freedom with my fellow countrymen who have owned their freedom in an epic liberation struggle. The ultimate achievement of this struggle is the creation of an independent, sovereign People's Republic of Bangladesh. Bangladesh is likely to become the 25th largest economy globally. The people of Bangladesh will be primarily working. In the knowledge industry, in the high tech sector, providing knowledge based services around the world, and not just being a part of the fourth industrial revolution, but leading the charge for the fourth industrial revolution. This is the story of digital Bangladesh, a seed planted way back by the father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, a dream envisioned by our honorable Prime Minister. Sheikh Hasina, and a reality made possible by the brilliant architecture of our Honorable Advisor on ICT Affairs to the Honorable Prime Minister of Bangladesh, Mr. Shajib Wajid. We have gone through unprecedented infrastructural development to support our goal of digital Bangladesh by 2021. The Rongpur High Tech Park is a state of the art high tech park being built. At Kulishakuri Rongpur, 28 similar high tech parks are being built around the country that will allow IT and IT enabled service companies to flourish and provide world class services to the local and global markets. The Sheikh Kamal IT and Incubation Center in Natur. Is a modern facility to enable skill development and entrepreneurship. Skill development in the digital sector has been a key focus of this government. 7,880 Sheikh Russell Digital Labs and 43,000 multimedia classrooms have already been set up throughout the country. The Shi Power Project is training 10,500 women. And creating women entrepreneurs. Other successful projects include the Learning and Earning Project and Skill Development for Games and Apps. The 2.4 gigawatt electrical Rupur nuclear power plant is going to be the first nuclear plant of Bangladesh. With this, we are entering a new era of electricity for all. The Dhaka Metro Rail project is well on its way to completion. Once completed, it is expected to enable 483,000 daily ridership. The National Data Center has been built under the Tier 4 to enable the large data storage requirement. The Shoji Bwajid Ground Station in Gazipur. Is serving as the primary control center for our pride, the Bangabandhu One satellite. The Pabda Bridge is our bravest project of all. At 6.15 kilometers long, this bridge holds the dreams of millions who will be connected to the main economy of our country. Internet. Has been made accessible to all with 120,000 kilometers of optical fiber set up throughout the country. The $1 billion project 
of establishing digital connectivity will take high-speed internet to every citizen's doorstep. These projects are converting our demographic advantage of a young population and women into real economic and social strengths and laying the solid foundations we need to become a developed nation by 2041. One of the major sectors identified by the government is the ICT sector. The government has targeted to generate $5 billion in exports and create 1 million employment by 2023 from this sector. From a small industry in 2009, it has now been transformed into a very focused and rapidly growing industry with well-structured organizations like BACO with 135 BPO companies and 50,000 employment. Bases with 1,200 software development companies and 3 lakh employment. ECAB with 1,000 e-commerce platforms and 20,000 employment along with 4 lakh F-commerce entrepreneurs and 7 lakh employment and ISPAB with 700 internet service providers and 1 lakh employment. In the BPO sector, we have grown from providing simple call center management solutions to complex data-driven and technology-based outsourcing solutions. We have ventured out from telco and FMCG industries to industries like accounting, banking, insurance, health, graphical outsourcing and retail store surveillance. The software development and ITES sector has seen tremendous growth in the last 10 years. We now export our developed products and services to more than 60 countries in the world. The government has taken major steps to enable the hardware sector as well. We are seeing world-class R&Ds taking place in our country. As a result, the people are getting devices and solutions that are great in quality, affordable and are accompanied with supreme services. The global online workers industry has seen a huge participation from Bangladesh in recent years. As per the University of Oxford, around 6 lakh freelancers are working at online marketplaces from Bangladesh. We are now taking the IT, ITES, BPO services and opportunities at the doorsteps of people, even at the rural regions to ensure the government's goal of my village, my town into a reality. A key breakthrough has been the nationwide rollout of government to citizen services like 999 and 333, where the public and private sectors work jointly to create value. Successful management from dynamic and efficient public and private organizations of Bangladesh have made these possible. We have enabled local tech startups and e-commerce businesses to thrive in our country, solving our day-to-day -day complex problems with their simple yet very efficient technological solutions. In addition to that, the Honorable Prime Minister has allocated 100 crores for the startups and 50 crores for researchers to aid the innovations. These concerted efforts have led our startups to innovate courageously and expand progressively to create solutions in sectors like transportation, finance, health, food, agriculture, household maintenance and many more. The transportation sector alone has created employment of around 5 lakh with many startups offering different solutions. The financial sector is drastically transforming the way we handle our cash. According to the World Bank, Bangladesh is among the five fastest growing economies of the world. We have embraced 
IoT, robotics, AI, machine learning technologies, big data management, cyber security and blockchain technologies to create meaningful solutions and become a knowledge economy which acknowledges the fourth industrial revolution and takes advantage of it by transforming services to digital. This is the story of digital Bangladesh. This is the story of a new Bangladesh that is driven by its resilience, humility and progress. We invite you all to step up and take it forward. Thank you for watching video on the story of digital Bangladesh. Uh, Fujitsu Research Institute is one of the co-organizers of our event. At this point, I would like to request Mr. Imamura Takeshi, General Manager, Fujitsu Research Institute, to give his remarks. Fujitsu Soken wa kongai no kyosai no isha desu ga, sore de wa kore kara Fujitsu Soken政策支援グループ長今村武史様のご挨拶です。え、バングラディッシュ人民共和国在日バングラディッシュ大使館特命全権大使シャハブディンアハメドカッカ在バングラディッシュ日本大使館特命全権大使伊藤直樹カッカ
So Fujitsu Research Institute uh, has been uh, established since the year uh, 1986, uh, consulting wing and think tank of uh, the Fujitsu group. And we are creating for the future of the clients. And we have been keeping track of the development of Bangladesh. And we have held uh, seminars and meetings in collaboration with other relevant uh, entities. And Bangladesh has a 1.6 million population and uh, maintaining 7% growth and also uh, major uh, consumer market and uh, Bangladesh has been getting attention and digital Bangladesh uh, has been the slogan and also uh, low cost and also highly skilled human resources uh, has been developed and regarding Bangladesh further growth is expected and uh, after the market survey Fujitsu Research Institute has made the report and the report has been issued and uh, thank you for uh, the support of all the people concerned. Uh, thank you. At this uh, point, I am changing the chronology of the speaker. Uh, now I would like to give uh, floor to the respected secretary, Ministry of Commerce, uh, Dr. M. D. Jafaruddin Ahmed. それでは順番を変更いたしまして、これよりバングラデシュ政府商務省ジャファルウッディン次官のご挨拶です。Honorable State Minister for Information and Communication Technology. People's Republic of Bangladesh, Mr. Junaid Dahmed Polok MP. His Excellency, Ambassador of Japan to Bangladesh, Mr. Ito Naoki. His Excellency, Ambassador of Bangladesh to Japan, Mr. Shahabuddin Ahmed. Respected Senior Secretary, ICT Division, Mr. N.M. Jiaulalam. Chief Rep Representative, Japan International Cooperation Agency, JICA. Country representative, Japan External Trade Organization, uh, JETRO. Mr. Sayyid Almaskabi, President, Bangladesh Association of Software and Information Service, BASIS. Distinguished panelist from Japan Information Technology Services Industry Association, uh, BASIS and Fujitsu Research Institute. Uh, moderator, Dr. Ariful Haq, Commercial Counselor, registered participants from Japan, Japanese and Bangladeshi IT companies. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. It is my great privilege to speak in this program. I'm extremely happy to see that the Embassy of Bangladesh in collaboration with BASIS and other entities has organized this event as a follow-up of Bangladesh Japan ICT webinar that was held a few months back. I also had the opportunity to attend that program. <clears throat> I'm also very happy to know that 82 Japanese companies and 48 Bangladeshi IT companies are on the platform to take the opportunity of this matchmaking event. At the very outset, I humbly remember the greatest Bengali of all times and father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. You all may be aware that this year we are celebrating birth centenary of the father of the nation and also celebrating the 50th anniversary of our independence. We all know that Japan is our trusted friend since the independence and Bangabandhu was very passionate to establish the collaboration of Japan in trade and commerce immediately after the independence. Distinguished audience, there is a huge potential in ICT sector for both Japanese and Bangladeshi IT companies to explore and expand business. Software and IT services have been declared as a high priority export sector in Bangladesh. Bangladesh IT companies are flourishing gradually. Under the dynamic and able leadership of our Honorable Prime Minister, Sheikh Hasina, with the smart use of ICT, Bangladesh has been growing consistently despite pandemic COVID-19 and also becoming one of the promising IT de destinations for investments, outsourcing or offshoring. As the ICT industry can operate remotely by its nature, the pandemic COVID-19 
has opened window of opportunities for the e-commerce industry, as well as video streaming, machine learning, and online learning platform. It may be mentioned with high and deep appreciation that Bangladesh, under the able and prudent guidance of Mr. Shajib Wajid Joy, Honorable Advisor to the Prime Minister, Bangladesh has been transformed into a digital Bangladesh. Ladies and gentlemen, Bangladesh's ICT and IT enabled services sector has higher compound annual growth than India and Vietnam in the last couple of years. We have a sizable young workforce with a large freelancing community and high cost competitiveness for attracting companies for outsourcing or offshoring operations. I hope Japanese companies will take this opportunity. On the other hand, aligning with the need and characteristics of the industry in Japan, Bangladeshi companies will also take the opportunity for upcoming technologies like big data anal analytics, internet of things, 3D imaging and robotics process automation, animation, etc. Let me also share one of our interventions in IT and ITES sector jointly designed as a technical assistance project to be launched very soon to attract foreign investment and outsourcing from overseas. And I believe the export earnings from this sector will reach 5 billion US dollar by the next few years. Ministry of Commerce is providing supports to the bilateral trade issues through commercial wing in Bangladeshi missions abroad. I am updated that under the guidance of the His Excellency Ambassador, Tokyo Mission has organized a good number of virtual and physical programs for business promotion during the last couple of months, despite pandemic COVID-19. Finally, I hope through this B2B mass making platform, both Japanese and Bangladeshi companies will explore business opportunities I again thank Embassy of Bangladesh, BASIS, and other entities to organize and make this event successful. Uh, I also thank Honorable Minister for ICT, Mr. Junaid Ahmed Palog MP, and Senior Secretary, Mr. N.M. Jiaul Alam, for being with us, giving their valuable time. Thank you all. Thank you, sir, for highlighting policy supports to the ICT sector taken by the Ministry of Commerce.昨年に続きまして、今回のプログラムに参加することを光栄に存じます。今回の町並み記念には日系企業80人以上、バングラデシュ企業48社の参加とのことを嬉しく存じます。また、今年はバングラデシュ建国の父の5世帯100周年にあ
President Bangladesh Association of Software and Information Service Basis to give his remarks. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, today's Chief Guest, Honorable State Minister for ICT Division, um, Mr. Junaid Ahmed Palok MP, um, respected Senior Secretary of ICT Division, respected um, Secretary of Ministry of Commerce, His Excellencies, Ambassadors of Bangladesh and Japan, Country Director, Country Representative, and uh, friends from Jetro, JICA, UNIDO, and uh, Fujitsu Research Institute, officials from Bangladesh Embassy in Tokyo and BASIS, my industry colleagues from both the countries, uh, Salaamu Alaikum and uh, Konnichiwa. Um, as you all know that Bangla uh, Bangladesh and Japan enjoys a very good, strong bonding and uh, friendship uh, for the last many years, almost five decades. And uh, whenever we have heard about development in Bangladesh, we know for sure that Japan is uh, one of the partners. Um, we have been seeing a lot of undergoing big projects that are, that are being implemented with the help of Japanese uh, experts. And I'm sure that um, we can find a big potential in this ICT sector uh, as well for the collaboration. You know, Japan has entered the fourth industrial revolution already, and Japan is in need uh, of many related solutions. With the high level skills, um, the ICT professionals of Bangladesh uh, are ready to develop these uh, solutions for our Japanese friends. You will also uh, would, um, I mean, happy to know that Bangladesh is developing more skilled resources, more skilled professionals, both from the private sector and from the government sectors. We have uh, quite a few uh, projects for the skill development, especially in the frontier technologies, the latest technologies. And um, I'm sure that um, Japan can uh, tap into this skill pool and uh, we, can, we can collaborate with each other, uh, especially in these uh, new areas uh, like uh, IoT or big data or uh, robotics uh, in these frontier technologies. Um, as you know that uh, Bangladesh, um, I mean, in Basis Soft Expo in 2020, February 2020, we have signed uh, a number of B2B uh, deals, agreements with um, several Japanese companies. And I strongly believe that this B2B uh, session for today, tomorrow, and day after tomorrow will be very, very fruitful. And uh, I am extremely happy. Uh, with the success of BASIS Japan Desk that we created about six months back, uh, that we have been able to organize this B2B meetings, matchmaking sessions, uh, and more than 130 companies from both the countries are participating. So this is an extremely, uh, I would say, um, very, very, uh, I'm, I'm very, very happy about this success. And I believe that this will go on. We will continue doing this. The portal is already there. Uh, the web portal uh, of Basis Japan Desk Matchmaking. So uh, any company from any of the, the two countries can uh, uh, tap into this uh, portal, can use this portal and request for a business to business matchmaking. Uh, I encourage our Japanese friends to um, collaborate with Bangladesh and to take advantage of the young population, young ICT uh, uh, resource pool that we have and also uh, join hands with our uh, mission to build a digital Bangladesh. And I think this ICT sector will uh, make our friendship even more stronger than ever. So thank you again and best wishes to the companies who will be uh, participating in the business-to-business uh, -business matchmaking uh, in the next uh, couple of days. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Almas Kobir, for pointing out the areas where there can be collaboration and business opportunities between Bangladesh and Japan. I would like to request Mr. Masaruki Osuka, co-chairman, Japan Information Technology Service Industry Association, JISA, to give his remarks. 
次に情報サービス産業協会時差国際連携担当部会長大須賀正幸様のご挨拶ですありがとうございます、えー、皆様こんにちは時差国際連携担当部会長の大須賀でございますバングラデシュ人民共和国 ICT 大臣ズナイドアマヘドフォロク閣下中日バングラデシュ大使館シャハブディンアハメド大使閣下中バングラデシュ日本大使館伊藤直樹大使閣下バングラデシュ ICT ディビジョンシニアセクレタリージェラオラアロム様バングラデシュ商務省セクレタリージャファールズイン様バングラデシュソフトウェア情報サービス産業協会ベースの皆様方をはじめとするご列席の皆様方え本日はこのバングラデシュ日本 IT B2B オンライン会議にお招きをいただきまたこうしてご挨拶の機会をいただきましたこと大変光栄に存じますえさて皆さんもご存知の通りこの1年世界は COVID-19 の最下に見舞われ国境を越えた直接的な交流が制限され一方で多くのビジネス活動が困難な状況こうしたものが続いておりますしかしその困難な結果本日のこの会議をはじめとするさまざまな ICT 技術を応用した新しいサービスや工夫が私たちの日常生活の中にどんどん入ってきております。COVID-19 についてもワクチンの開発が進みいよいよ接種が開始されようとしています。こうした対策によりまして早晩この COVID-19 の再開も収束するものと期待をしておりますその時私たち日常生活やビジネスはこれまでとは異なる新しい様式新しいステージそして私たちバングラデシュ日本の間でも新しい関係が生まれるものと信じておりますそしてそのために今この時間を準備と検討するために有効に使えと神様がまあ与えてくださったのではないかというふうに信じておりますこの時間を有効に使って皆様方とより深い連携を構築できればと願っております今回のバングラデシュ日本 IT B2B オンライン会議の成功とそして両国の ICT ビジネスがますます発展することを記念いたし,記念いたしまして誠に簡単ではございますが、私のご挨拶に返させていただきます。本日は誠にありがとうございました。Thank you, Mr. Osoka, for giving your remarks. Interpretation, please. So it is my honor to attend、uh, this program again, a、uh, continue from the previous time. Now the whole world has been affected by COVID-19, and of course the businesses have been have been affected as well. However,、uh, with the、um, the introduction of the vaccines,、uh, we hope it will be um, uh, it will come.、Uh, It will be solved、uh, somewhat better. Uh, so uh, we may expect that the business may reach a new stage. So a new、uh, Japan Bangladesh relationship will、uh, occur. So、uh, let us think it this way. Now we are going through the preparation stage. So let us make、um, the best use of this preparation period. And our、uh, further and、uh, deeper collaboration、uh, can be possible after、uh, all these. So, I wish the further success and development of the ICT division. Now, I would like to request Mr. Yuji Ando, country representative, Jetro, Bangladesh. Mr. Yuji Ando. Anderson, can you hear me? And his、uh, Excellency Ambassador、uh, of Bangladesh、uh, to Japan, Mr. Shahabuddin Ahmed. Sorry, I'm a Kibokto Devar, Sujok Devar, no Nekton, but 
এবং বাংলাদেশ দূতাবাস ます。Thank you very much, uh, uh, Honorable State Minister uh, Mr. Junaid Ahmed Park, uh, Park uh, MP, uh, His Excellency Ambassador of Bangladesh to Japan, Mr. Shahabuddin Ahmed,、uh, senior, uh, respected Senior Secretary ICT Division,、uh, respected Secretary Ministry of Commerce,、uh, so, uh, uh, Mr. Kobil, President Basis. そしてあの、えー、伊藤大使はじめとするあの、えー、日本のスピーカーの皆様、えー、ご参加の皆様、えー、レスペクテッドゲストアンドパーティスパント、えーえー、おはようございます、えー、本日はこのような機会をいただきまして誠にありがとうございます、えー、主催者の、えー、在京バンガラデシュ大使館あーベーシス、えー、富士通総研の皆様、えー、ご講演の ICD ディビジョン、えー、ジェトロユニドの皆様に感謝申し上げます日本とバングラデシュは50年前の独立当時から経済開発社会開発の両面で良好な協力関係を築いてまいりました JICA の対バングラデシュ協力も2023年には50周年を迎えますバングラデシュの ICT セクターにおいては20年以上のボランティア派遣や技術協力を通じて主に人材育成に貢献してまいりましたバングラデシュはこの10年、えーえー、目覚ましい発展を遂げました、えー、もう今一人当たりの年間所得は2000ドルとなりインドと肩を並べ経済発展は離陸しつつあります、えー、人材育成特に ICT 技術の開発はバングラデシュの発展に非常に重要な役割を果たしています、えー、バングラデシュ政府は先ほどのビデオでもあ,のありましたけれども ICT セクターを重要な柱として位置づけて、えー、おりますそのような政府の方針のもと多くの学生が ICT を学んでおります。JICA も2013年から技術協力を通じて日本初の IT 国家試験でアジア6カ国で共同実施しています情報処理技術者試験 ITEE をバングラデシュの国家試験として導入する支援を行ってまいりました。バングラデシュにおけるこの試験の合格者はここ数年増え続けております。高等教育での人材育成でも活用され始めております。また2017年からはバングラデシュジャパン ICT エンジニアズトレーニング b j e t という日本市場を志す ICT 技術者向けの研修を3年間行ってまいりました。約100倍の選考をくぐり抜けて3ヶ月の日本語研修を終了した優秀な若手技術者のうち250名実に 75% が日本企業に正社員として採用をされました終了生のうち都市圏だけでなく地方の ICT 企業に就職したエンジニアも多いです若いバングラデシュ人のエンジニアが宮崎や北海道その他各地の IT 企業で活躍する事例が増えてきましたバン,グラデシュバングラデシュエンジニアの採用をきっかけとして事業を拡大したという企業もあるようで大変嬉しく思っております他方あの日本の参加者の皆様におかれてはバングラデシュの ICT エンジニアたちのイメージがわからないという方もあの多くいらっしゃると思います
、えー、手前味噌のご紹介となりますが、えー、YouTube に、えー、先ほどの BJET、BJET、えー、日本語チャンネルというものがあ,のありまして、そちらを見ていただけると、えー、プログラムに参加した若い IT エンジニアたちの優秀さ、えー、人柄、雰囲気がお分かりになると思います。ぜひご覧ください。えー日本で働く、あるいは日本企業と働くバングラデシュ IT 企業、ICT エンジニアが日本とバングラデシュをつないで、両国の ICT のビジネスの発展に重要な役割を果たすことを期待しております。今回の B2B ミーティングが実りあるものになることを心から祈っております。どうもありがとうございました。Thank you, Mr. Hayaka,、uh, for your remarks. Hayaka s a m a a r i g a t a It has been my honor to attend this program. And, and JICA's support toward the Bangladesh、uh, it will mark the、uh, 50th year in, in, in 2023. And、uh, JICA has been extending support for、uh, human resources development in the field of ICT. And then Bangladesh's、uh, income、uh, has been、uh, rising and it is about to take off. And I see the、uh, field in Bangladesh,、uh, there are many、uh, students、uh, who are、uh, measuring in this field. And then there's one exam called ITEE, and we have、uh, assisted、uh, to make this、uh, national level、uh, certificate in Bangladesh. And also,、uh, we offer the programs like b i d g e t programs.、Uh, this is meant for the Japanese market and Bangladesh people、uh, are getting employed.、Uh, and some of them are working in Miyazaki and in Hokkaido. And、uh, we are glad to know that、uh, there are Japanese companies t h e y have succeeded in、uh, enlarging their businesses、uh, thanks to the Bangladesh people. And、uh, for you to get the actual image of b i d g e t programs,、uh, we have、uh, YouTube. For this uh, BJ uh, Japanese channel.、Uh, so please watch、uh, this YouTube channel. And I hope、um, Bangladesh uh, ICT uh, human resources will contribute to the good bilateral uh, relations. Uh, I would like to request Andosan to try once again. Dear Andosan, please try. ジェトロダッカ事務所長、安藤裕二様、お願いいたします。あ、I'm sorry, the sorry for the technical the disturbance and all the、uh, special guests and the honorable、uh, participants. Uh, Assalamu alaikum and very、uh, good afternoon and konnichiwa.、Uh, first of all, I'd like to congratulate the 50th anniversary、uh, of independence of Bangladesh. And I am really honored、uh, to welcome、uh, Golden Jubilee here in Bangladesh.、Uh, especially, I'd like to appreciate for Embassy of Bangladesh, Basis Japan Desk, and FRI to take、uh, this great initiative. I am sure that the, this event uh, will create uh, good opportunities to develop more、uh, business relationships、uh, between two friendly countries. As Mr. Oskar san、uh, mentioned,、uh, we are suffering, first suffering from COVID 19 pandemic、uh, all over the world, and Bangladesh is not an exception. However, we all, already know that ICT sector does not choose places to work. I am confident that. ICT sector in Bangladesh is able to overcome this difficult and hard time. I believe that this event will be a driving force、uh, for the future step. In order to have a big jump in business growth, I would like to strongly request、uh, Bangladesh government to improve、uh, business environment without any hesitation. Improvement in business climate will help. ICT sector to boost businesses. One good example、uh, is improvement in foreign exchange regulation, like lift up of limitation in outward remittance. I would like to appreciate、uh, for the recent initiative by Bangladesh Bank、uh, to relax the foreign exchange regulation for paying consultant fee to abroad 
up to 1% uh, of last year's sale. If the government can go for more regulatory reforms, such as re re relaxation of outward remittance for uh, techni technical assistance, then uh, cost of doing business uh, will be drast drastically uh, reduced. I would expect more initiatives by Bangladesh government. Last but not least, we JETRO uh, welcome all business operators as the first contact point for business promotion between two friendly countries. We look forward to working with you all. I wish this event will bring a great success. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Ando, for explaining uh, how JETRO is supporting the Japanese companies for doing business in Bangladesh and also for your good suggestions. Uh, at this point, I would like to request Mr. N.M. Jiaulalom. Oh, sorry, uh, I, I missed the interpretation. Sorry. え、今年はバングラデシュ独立50周年の締めの年でお祝い申し上げます。え、そしてえ、先ほども5発言ございましたが、え、現在のコロナ禍にもかかわらず、え、ICTバングラにおけるICTブームは、え、克服できるものと存
of Bangladesh in mainstreaming this sort of transformation. Digital Bangladesh is paving the way to fulfill the dream of uh, the father of the nation, Bangladesh Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, to make Bangladesh a uh, golden bangle. ICT division is working closely and very inclusively with the local industry and academia, keep, keeping up with the industry development and manpower needs with an aim to curate and deliver meaningful, timely, and relevant programs for the workforce to skill, reskill, and upskill to stay globally competitive. Looking ahead, we are focused on developing our youth in the fourth industrial revolution stake and are building a school for the future and advanced digital labs across the country. To keep up with the rapid technological change, we have to, uh, we have the strategy to prepare skills for fourth industrial revolution in place. Five national strategies have been formulated uh, to, uh, for Bangladesh to drive in the fourth industrial revolution. Now we are designing the right programs so that we are able to prepare our youth for the, uh, for the job in today's market uh, in the local and global areas. The government has established specialist lab in uh, about 135 universities in Bangladesh. We have one digital university for advanced technology. The uh, works of establishment establishing the Sheikh Hasina Institute of Frontier Technology that is shipped is now underway. We are providing Sheikh Rasil Digital Lab in secondary and higher secondary school and Sheikh Kamal IT incubator and training center in, the, in every district of Bangladesh and high tech technology and sub technology park all over the country. Under the able leadership of our Honorable ICT Advisor, Mr. Shoji Bawajad, the proper guidance of our Honorable State Minister, uh, today's Chief Guest, Mr. Jonathan Pollock, we are targeting a 10 billion US dollar IT export by 2025. Given the power of the youth driving the growth of our digital Bangladesh, we are now confident to reach our target in time. We are determining to build a self uh, sustainable digital Bangladesh, but not a self-centered one. We believe in the power of cooperation and partnership. One thing that the COVID has taught us that even though we have to be self-reliant, we all need to work together with our partners to build a better connected world. Today's online meeting will provide us an ample scope to do better in B2B with Japan. Uh, with this view, I'd like to conclude long live Bangladesh Japan friendship. Thank you and thank you all. Thank you, sir, for highlighting Bangladesh's preparation to face both industrial revolutions and ICT divisions, many initiatives. え、今回の、え、共産団体各位、え、大使館をはじめとする、え、皆様に、え、感謝申し上げるとともに、え、バングラデシュにとって日本は、え、長年の友好国であること、え、そしてまた、え、バングラデシュは、え、2015年以降、
を行っております。私どもでは今後、ICT の輸出で100億ドルを目指しております。で私どもは、えー、自分たちで独り立ちして、えー、デジタル分野を行っておりますが、えー、決して独りよがり、独善的になるのではなく、えー、皆様と協力し、えー、共に、えー、発展していくつもりでおります。えー、今回の BTP により、両国の友好関係がさらに深まることをお祈りいたします。続きまして、中バングラデシュ日本大使伊藤直樹閣下です。えー、ありがとうございます。えー、His Excellency、えー、Mr. Znaid Ahmed Palak, Honorable State Minister for ICT,、uh, His Excellency Ambassador、uh, Shahabdin, Distinguished、uh, Speakers and Participants,、uh, Assalamu alaikum, Shubo p o r a n h o Konnichiwa. えー、日本とバングラデシュの関係はあそろそろ50周年を迎え非常に緊密な関係にございますその中でバングラデシュの経済成長そして、えー、経済投資の機会の増大は両国間の経済パートナーシップを前進させる、増大させることをますます重要にしています。そういう背景においてビジネスマッチング、企業の連携というものが大変意義のあることはあの疑いのないことでございます。今日主催をされた中日バングラシス大使館、富士通総研さんベーシスのイニシアティブに心より敬意を表し、感謝を申し上げます。また、ご講演の ICT ディビジョン、ジェトロユニゾにも感謝を申し上げます。シャハブディン大使からは、直接お電話をいただいてですね、今日参加をするようにというお招きをいただきました。その上で参加をできることを嬉しく光栄に感じております。コロナのウイルスというものの感染はバングラデシュにおいても大変厳しい状況を招きまだまだリスクはある状況ではありますしかしながら1日の感染者数新規感染者数が500名600名陽性率も 4%5% というところに少し落ち着きを見せてきておりますワクチンの接種も明日から開始をされますし、学校も一部再開という流れにあります。まあ、財務大臣も経済はそこを打ったということを言っておられますので、まあ、このままですね、えー、バングラデシュにおいてコロナ感染の状況が収束をしていくということを期待をしております。えー、今日はあの限られた時間で三つだけ簡単に申し上げたいというふうに思います。一つはバングラデシュは2020年代、アジアの中で最も高い、早い経済成長を遂げる国であるということであります。最近出された5カ年計画でも 8% 台成長ということが謳われています。そして、これから4年、5年でバングラデシュのインフラが大きく変わるということであります。首都のメトロ空港股張りの港、あるいは工業団地、発電所、こういったものが急ピッチで建設が進んでおります。これ、すべて日本の協力、JICA の協力、日本の企業が参与をされております。これに加えて、他の国、国際機関の協力もありますので、インフラが非常に大きく変わると、良くなるということであります。そして、投資環境についても、先ほど、ジェトロの安藤所長からお話があったように、改善をしつつあるとということですコロナ禍の中で我々が期待をしていた想定をしていた以上にこの規制の緩和税の問題外国送金の問題が改善しつつあるともちろん全てではありませんけれども解決しつつあるということを一つ目の点として申し上げたいと思います二つ目の点は IT の分野ですけれどもこれは
、JICA のこの人材育成のモデル、宮崎モデルが大成功していると。それは要は、バンガラデシュという国が、えー、IT エンジニアの育成、排出に成功しつつあるということであります。そして、えー、私もあのいろんな行事ですね、ダッカ大学のハッカソンであるとか、あるいはスタートアップワールドカップであるとか、コロナになる前に出させていただきましたけどもそこでやはり非常に印象づけられたのは IT の分野には海外で教育を受けた海外で仕事をした人がバングラデシュに戻ってきてそしてバングラデシュで事業をする起業をするまさにこれまでなかったような新しい企業の文化というものがバングラデシュで芽生えているということこれが2つ目でありますそして3つ目はデジタルバングラデシュへの協力の重要性ということです。この後お話をされるポロク大臣は、大変リーダーシップと先形性のある政治家であります。そしてデジタルバングラデシュというものを掲げて、2041年、バングラデシュが先進国入りすることを IT の分野というものを基軸に進めるということに大変力を入れておられます。そして日本への協力のの期待とといいうものもももすすごく強いものがありますまさにこの2041年に向けてデジタルバングラデシュその青写真中身を日本の政府関係機関そして民間企業と一緒に作っていきたいというのがポロク大臣のお考えでありドリームであるというふうに理解をしておりますデジタルバングラデシュへの協力そしてハイテクパークへの投資スマートシティ、まあ、スマートシティは日本のインフラ協力の中でも優先分野の一つです。もうこういったところにですね、まさに官民を挙げた協力が進む、2021年はぜひそうした年にしたいというふうに考えております。えー、今日も大勢の日本の企業の方々にご参画をいただいておりますけれども、ぜひバングラデシュのデジタルバングラデシュという壮大なプロジェクトにご関与、ご協力いただけることを期待を申し上げますし、また、今日のビジネスマッチングにおいて、バングラデシュ、日本、双方の企業に出て、成果が上がるということを心からお祈りを申し上げて、私の挨拶とさせていただきます。今日はあのお招きに預かり、どうもありがとうございました。Thank you, His Excellency, for gracing the program and providing your valuable remarks. We believe it will encourage Japanese IT companies to explore business opportunity in Bangladesh. 本日は大使にご臨席賜り、また貴重なご意見を頂戴し、ありがとうございました。日本とバングラネシュの関係というのはほぼ50周年を迎えようとしておりますが、経済成長や投資によりパートナーシップが増大しております。今回のようなビジネスマッチングはまさに意義があるものと言えますし、今回の共済の各団体、そして講演各団体に敬意を表すとともに感謝申し上げます。今回のこちらのプログラムへの出席に関しましては、シャハブッディン・アーメド大使よりお電話をいただき、今回、の出席公演に存じますコロナ禍ですがバングラデシュにおいてもまだリスクはあるものの落ち着いたと言え Uh, it will certainly boost the partnership of the two countries. And then the business matching of this time,、uh, this is the meaningful. And I would like to express my、uh, appreciation and thanks to uh, the uh, co organizers and also、uh, supporting organizations.、Uh, this time I received a phone call from、uh, His Excellency Ambassador, Mr. Shah Bindi Ahmed, and it is my honor to attend this program. And、uh, in Bangladesh,、uh, the effect of、uh, coronavirus are still there, risks, however, it has become somewhat、uh, settled. And 
I we hope uh, this uh, corona pandemic will uh, come uh, will be settled soon. Uh, so on this occasion, I would like to emphasize three points. And first, uh, Bangladesh will uh, present its uh, economic growth um, in in this decade. Uh, Bangladesh has been maintain, maintaining eight percent growth, and there can be a huge development of infrastructures and all of these uh, developments Japan is involved along with JICA and other entities and also uh, improvement of the business environment in Bangladesh uh, it has been uh, improving and uh, secondly uh, for IT uh, human resources development in Miyazaki model of JICA uh, it made a great success and also there is a, a trend and Bangladesh people um, who went uh, out, out of the country and then they started uh, their own business in Bangladesh. Um, this is the uh, emerging trend. And thirdly, uh, for the digital Bangladesh, um, this is quite important. And for uh, Honorable uh, ICT uh, State Minister for his uh, leadership and visionary uh, ideas, and uh, Bangladesh. Uh, may be led uh, to a uh, developing country, uh, excuse me, uh, to a uh, um, developing country uh, in the year 2041 uh, with uh, IT sectors uh, as its uh, focal point. And also, uh, uh, other matters like uh, setting up high-tech parks and smart cities, uh, we have been extending uh, support in this regard as well. Now I have the great honor to invite the chief guest of this event, Mr. Junaid Ahmed Paulo Kempi, Honorable State Minister for ICT, Government of the People's Republic of Bangladesh. He became the youngest minister in the history of Bangladesh at the age of 33 years. During his tenure, Bangladesh went on huge transformation and digital Bangladesh became a reality. May I request the Honorable State Minister for delivering his speech and also inaugurate the B2B matchmaking event formally. それでは本日の主賓であるバングラデシュ政府ICTを担当大臣ズナイドアンメドポロク閣下です。閣下におかれましてはバングラデシュ市場最も若いえ、33歳という若さでご就任されました。え、それ以降、え、バングラデシュは
and his sacrifice for shaping world turned Bangladesh as a nation. He traveled across the world in vision to create friends of Bangladesh. Bangabundu expressed his gratitude for the assistance and cooperation so far extended by Japan in various forms and also for its support to Bangladesh in international forums during his official visit to Japan in 1973 at the invitation of the Japanese government. After Bangladesh gained independence in 1971, Japan was among the first countries to recognize us as a sovereign nation. Japan and Bangladesh have been good friends since then, bilaterally cooperating in many development initiatives. Bangladesh has experienced tremendous growth in the last decade under the leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and her Honorable ICT advisor, the architect of Digital Bangladesh, Mr. Shajib was a joy. The GDP growth rate of Bangladesh had reached over 8% in 2019 and has reached 5.24% in 2020. Despite the impact of coronavirus pandemic, while the per capita income increased to 2064 US dollars, we are now 34th in the World Economic Forum Inclusive Development Index. And according to the World Economic Forum, by 2030, we will be the 24th largest economy in the world. The key ingredient behind this growth has been smartly utilizing ICT to spur growth in all sectors. Bangladesh is a young nation with 50% of the population under the age of 25. We have 150 universities from where half a million college graduates enter the workforce every year. This digital savvy youth are entering the IT and IT enabled services industry in different capacity as IT professionals, as freelancers, and even as startup founders. According to Oxford Internet Institute, Bangladesh provides 16% of the global online workforce or approximately 600,000 freelancers making Bangladesh the second largest source of digital workforce. The IT and IT enabled services industry in Bangladesh has grown significantly in last decade from a mere 30 million US dollars export industry in 2008 to a billion US dollars export industry by 2019 with a $5 billion export target by 2025. The government under the visionary leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has various plans, including construction of 39 high-tech parks across the country 64 Sheikh Kamal IT incubation centers, schools of future, and 13,000 Sheikh Russell digital labs in educational institutions across the country. These activities are playing a significant role in human resource development in Bangladesh. To meet growing demand for ICT engineers in Japan, we can harness the opportunity by sending skilled IT professionals. The number of internet users in Bangladesh now stands at more than 111 million as a result of our efforts to build the infrastructure of digital Bangladesh and timely steps taken in the last 12 years under the leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and overall supervision of the architect of digital Bangladesh, Mr. Shajib was a joy. Over 300,000 IT professionals are working in over 1,100 software and IT services companies. Around 400 of these companies are specialized in serving overseas clients. Bangladesh is quietly evolving from a beginner to a serious contender in the global outsourcing market with one of the largest and fastest growing technology market in the South and Southeast Asia. Bangladesh ICT sector offers 
exciting opportunity for investment in different areas of blockchain, AR, VR, IoT, robotics, machine learning, and other frontier technologies. We welcome foreign investments in almost all sectors of the economy with no restriction on the amount of investment. As a high priority export sector, all software and IT services companies enjoy facility of tax exemption until 2024, 10% cash incentives on software, IT, ES, and ICT hardware exports from Bangladesh. Special government sponsored long term equity fund and short term working capital financing. Bangladesh started attending Japan IT Week every year since 2015 to showcase Bangladeshi companies, products, and capabilities. On the other hand, a good number of Japanese companies have also been attending Basis Soft Expo for the last couple of years. We have been participating in ITEE exams since October 2013. So far, 365 trainees have been awarded with the ITE certificates and 127 have been trained on Japanese language, Japanese business culture and IT. 228 have completed the BJ training through these programs, a total 255 trained professionals are now employed in Japan and 72 are working in Japan-based Bangladeshi companies. I'm happy to know that 77 participants from Japanese companies have registered in the virtual B2B matchmaking agreement and 46 Bangladeshi IT companies are ready on B2B matchmaking platform. This will help both Japanese and Bangladeshi companies to explore the business opportunities. Finally, I thank the Embassy of Bangladesh, BASIS, Fujitsu Research Institute for organizing this event and other entities for their support to this event. I hope more follow-up programs will be arranged so that Bangladeshi IT companies can explore the and expand their business in Japan and Japanese entrepreneurs can set up offshore development center in Bangladesh. With this, I would like to declare this Japan Bangladesh B2B ICT matchmaking open. Joy Bangla, Joy Bangabundhu, may Bangladesh Japan friendship live forever. Thank you, sir, for your excellent speech picturing development of ICT sector in Bangladesh. We are really grateful from the embassy and other partners that in our previous programs, you had your kind presence and contribution were really highly motivating and encouraging for us. And as you mentioned that follow-up programs, we will try our best to arrange follow-up programs to explore Japanese market. And we will, uh, as previous, we will get your support. Thank you, sir. Interpretation, please. え、今回でございますが、承認した国であります。え、そしてまた、え、橋名首相閣下、そして ICTの設計者であるワゼット上位顧問のご指導のもと、え、バングラデシュは成長を遂げております。え、バングラデシュにおきましては、え、一人当たりの所得パーキャピ
を及ぼしております。えー、バングラデシュは若い人材が多いのですが、えー、こ国内にある150の大学からは、えー、毎年新卒の学生たちが新たに雇用分野に進出しておりまして、中には IT プロフェッショナルですとか、またフリーランスになるものもおります。世界的に見てもバングラデシュのフリーランスで働くものというのは、えー、上位にありまして、えーえー、重要な地位を占めております。バングラデシュにおいては、2025年までに、えー、50億ドルを ICT 部門により、えー、獲得するという目標を掲げ,掲げております。また、えー、国内におり、おきましても、ハイテクパーク、えー、39カ所、そして、えー、インキュベーションセンター64カ所、そしてまた、えー、学校における、えー、ラボラトリーの、えー、建設も行っております。えー、バングラデシュにおいては、えー、人材育成、スキルを有する者の,の、えー、育成に、えー、注力をしております。バングラデシュ国内の、えー、インターネットのユーザーは、えー、1億1100万人、えー、近くおります、えー。そしてまた、バングラデシュにおいては、えー、400社近くが外国向けのの仕事を受ける用意があります ICT におきましてはフロンティア分野である AI、VR、インターネット・オブ・シングス、ロボティクスなどこのようなエリアにおきましてまさに躍動するようなチャンスがバングラデシュにあると言えます。またバングラデシュにおいてはソフトウェアにおける免税などの措置も適宜講じております。バングラデシュからは日本において IT ウィークに2015年以来出展しておりまして、バングラデシュの IT における最新状況をご紹介申し上げております。また日系企業の皆様もバングラデシュにおけるフェア、ベッシスソフトエクスポにご参加いただいております。試験の ITEE ですが、こちら2013年10月からバングラデシュ人の学生で365名がすでに合格しておりまして、資格を取得しておりまして、また中には日本語を勉強するものもおります。BJET プログラムは228名のものが受講いたしました。今回 B2B プログラムにご登録いただきました日本日系企業の皆様におかれましては、バングラデシュにおけるチャンスを探求いいたただきたいと存じます今回、共済団体各位、そしてまた講演各位に感謝申し上げるとともに、今回のプログラムを踏まえ、またさらなるフォローアップにも期待申し上げます。日系企業の皆様におきましては、バングラデシュにおけるオフィシャルデベロップメントなどをどうぞお考えくださいませ。そして最後になりますが、今回の B2B プログラムのオープニングを正式に宣言いたします。We are at the end of the program. I would like to request Ms. Farhana Erohoman, Senior Vice President Basis, for conveying a vote of thanks. それでは最後になりますが、ベーシス・シニア・バイス・プレジデント、ファーハナ・ラーマン様に閉会の辞をお願いいたします。Of today's program, Mr. Zunayad Ahmed Pollock, State Minister for ICT, NMZI Alam, Senior Secretary, ICT Division, Dr. Zafruddin, Secretary, Ministry of Commerce, Bangladesh, Mr. Shahabuddin Ahmed, Ambassador of Bangladesh to Japan,、uh, Mr. Ito Nawaki,、uh, Ambassador to Japan,、uh, Ambassador of Japan to Bangladesh, Mr. Imamura Taka, Takawashi,、uh, General Manager, Fujitsu, Representative from JICA, JETRO, JISA,、uh, my colleague. From basis and uh, uh, friends from media,、uh, all the participants of today's,、uh, today's event, and also、uh, registered Japanese companies for、uh, B2B matchmaking and members of、uh, basis Japan desk. Go,、uh, very good afternoon. Today, we are here to take basis Japan desk to its next level. Already, you have learned from other speakers besides organizing B2B. Meeting this time, we have created a virtual platform where any Japanese company can fix meeting by him or herself according to their convenience. This is for the first time we are using such platform. I would like to invite all registered participants from both part or,、uh, parts to take advantage of this platform and explore business opportunity of Bangladesh. I wish all the success to the companies participating in B2B matchmaking next few days. 
My role in this program is to deliver a vote of thanks, and I would like to start from, uh, from our leader, Mr. Zunaid Ahmed Pollock, State Minister for ICT. Thanks a lot, uh, uh, Mr. Minister, Minister uh, for being our inspiration and support uh, our initiatives all along. You are instrumental for this industry growth and uh, support private sector as well. Respected Senior Secretary, Mrs. Zial Alum, Secretary ICT Division, uh, thanks a lot. We are really grateful for your support and you are always a phone call um, away for any kind of support. Thank, thank you for being, being with us. Dr. Zafruddin, uh, Secretary, Ministry of Commerce, uh, Bangladesh. Thank you, sir, uh, for all kind of support, uh, policy level support and also uh, support for export and especially for uh, creating this Japan uh, basis Japan desk and also uh, the activities we have we have planned for uh, export market of Bangladesh uh, your support is instrumental for us uh, for today's program and also for basis Japan uh, Japan desk activity uh, Bangladesh embassy in Japan is um, is a is a friend is a team member so uh, mr Shahabuddin Ahmed ambassador of uh, Bangladesh uh, uh, embassy uh, to Japan I would like to uh, thank you and uh, you and your team uh, for uh, for your support <clears throat> mr Ito Noaki uh, ambassador of Japan to Bangladesh. Already uh, uh, Jap Jap Japan embassy in Bangladesh experienced uh, Bangladesh business uh, opportunities in different sectors. And uh, uh, we, we have experienced that you all, uh, you, you have supported ICT industry uh, with your previous experience. And thank you so much for your gracious presence to, to this uh, program. <clears throat> Mr. Imamura Takawashi, General Manager Fuji is uh, also is also a team member for the uh, for, for today's program and uh, we uh, we are very happy uh, uh, to uh, to work with Fujitsu uh, and uh, Bangladesh ICT industry and basis is grateful for your support May, uh, Mr. Udi Ando, Jetro, country representative, uh, Mr. Hawawaki, Yohu, chief representative, Japan International Cooperation Agency, uh, JICA, uh, uh, and also uh, JISA. The, these organizations are uh, instrumental for, uh, for our venture in Japan. So I would like to thank from uh, bottom of, of our heart and from, from basis, uh, uh, Bangladesh ICT industry uh, to all of you uh, and uh, uh, thank you for all, uh, thank you for your support. <clears throat> I would like to thank my colleagues from basis, member uh, of basis secretariat, registered Japanese companies who, uh, who are participating today's uh, event and also the B2B matchmaking uh, making uh, in the next few days. Uh, members of Jab basis Japan Desk, friends from media. Th uh, media. Uh, I wish all the success, and uh, I hope we, we will continue a program like this to promote Bangladeshi ICT industry in Japan market. Thank you, uh, thank you all for your support and making this initiative successful. Thank you. Interpretation, please. え、program successful, sparing your valuable time. Finally, once again, we'd like to request participating Japanese companies to utilize B2B platform created by BASIS and explore business opportunity in Bangladesh. B2B will continue till 5th February, 2021. With this, we would like to conclude this program at this point. 
Thank you all. どうもありがとうございました。えー、本日は皆様、えー、貴重なお時間、えー、お付き合いくださりありがとうございました、えー、日本企業の皆様におかれましては、えー、今回のプラットフォームを活用されることを、えー、期待申し上げます、えー、B2B は2月5日に行われますどうもありがとうございましたスラムレクムサルオナラブルミニスターサルアムラプログラムシェスコディシサル Thank you. Thank you. ভাষা নাই মানে আমরা সবসময় মনে করি যে আপনি আমাদের গার্জিয়ান এবং আমাদের